Hello and welcome, it's Howard from HDS Electrical and today we're discussing my handmade doors. So my friend Crazy Pete built these for me. I gave him the spec and the brief and I think we traded these for a bunch of work as well and just paid for the materials. The materials alone were nearly a grand so it's not for the faint hearted. What I wanted was this little snug room to be separate from the rest of the house however have the ability to be part of the house now they were originally intended to go full height however being natural wood we didn't treat them quick enough and they actually shrunk all the bits of wood in them shrunk because it is wood wood absorbs water and evaporates water basically moves it gets bigger or littler because it shrunk we actually had to take the doors off, adjust them and shrink them and adjust the frame. We also did have a shadow gap in there. I wasn't happy with how it looked on the edge so we decided to put this architrave. So these are made from maple I believe. You can see there's been some minor more movement. That will always happen with a natural wood. Um, but they've been fully treated so this is I think 2015 so six years on now so there's not been much movement for six years but what we actually did this is why Pete is a bit of a crazy genius as well as constructing these doors and all the frame hand making it where it moved slightly the first time he's filled it with aluminium filler actual metal filler so you see a lot of the divots that gaps scrapes knots have this tiny little silver shine to them which as you walk by and they catch the light it just pops off it looks absolutely fantastic i've actually got to put some more in some of these touch them up sand them down get it popping off again but it looks fantastic so as you can see most of the time we have them just like that nice solid steady doors um, shut off this becomes like a snug we fitted them on piano hinges so we've got furniture in the way now so we can't fully simulate it but if we ever wanted to they were designed so they can go all the way back flat to the wall and we could actually just unbolt this one the bolts we put in to stop it warping so it just helps keep the door straight minimize the movement more than anything because we don't want it warping out these could both go all the way back i wonder if the table is in the way or whether it is in the way you can tell i haven't rehearsed this video random interlude this is my dad's old high chair and when I was little, I used to sit in it. So my dad was sitting in this chair 70 years ago. Still smells like him. But anyway, back to the doors, focus, come on, focus. This is as far as it'll go because my parents read far too many books. Clever bastards. So, <laughs> but if this bookshelf wasn't there. This, as you can see, is designed to go all the way up and then it becomes a giant space makes this big kitchen dining room one big open space tell me what you think if you like it hit a like hit subscribe send it in the comments section have a lovely day